YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. This is another coin pusher video with no background audio. For some reason, the camera was still not working very well. It did pick up some sounds, but it was really distorted. So I decided to just take those sounds away and you're just gonna hear me talk. Um, we're at the DC Comics pusher, coin pusher, as you can see. This is uh, recorded at Sir Winston Fun and Games. And if you look into the machine, you can see an Aquaman there. Uh, that's the main reason I decided to keep this video. I'm once again releasing this on a Monday because, uh, well, because the audio isn't really good. And uh, I do want to point, pu put it out there, point it out, no, put it out there. Because, you know, an Aquaman, Aquaman is always nice to get. It's the rare card in the hero set. It's good for 2,000 tickets if you got the other cards in the hero set. Or 4,000 if you have a dark side and all of the villain cards as well. So it's always nice to play for a Aquaman. Uh, that's why I'm posting this video. If you like this video, please like it by giving it a thumbs up. Smash that like button. And subscribe to my channel for more coin pusher videos. Most of them do include background audio, don't worry. Uh, I think this is the second of three uh, uh, videos I'm gonna upload without audio, uh, without a background audio, uh, because of the camera problems. And then I got my camera fixed, or to be clear, I returned my camera and got a new one. Same one, uh, just a new... Uh, no, no, not the same one. The same model, but a new camera. As you can see, the pushing is going pretty well. Uh, there's a cheetah underneath all those cards, and it looks like that's going to fall first. This video was recorded a while back, back in 2019. And... Uh, I only got to editing it now and then I realized that the audio was really weird. It, it cut out, it uh, it came back sometimes. Sometimes it was really loud, sometimes it was really soft. And there was also a lot of background noise from people talking. So the best way to go was just take it out for me and then just, you know, record this from the editing booth. Editing booth meaning my couch at home. Uh, the pushing is going pretty well. I haven't seen the card fall yet, but that cheetah is about to go. It's defying the laws of gravity already. Oh, a new card came into the machine. It's uh, a villain bonus card. And there goes the cheetah. It's a se series one cheetah from the looks of it. So that card is worth 50 tickets. And that goes for every card except for the bonus cards. The bonus card, the villain bonus cards you can see in the top right is worth 100 tickets. Uh, the interesting thing of the 50 ticket cards is that you can build sets with them and sets give you points or tickets, uh, bonus tickets. So as I said, uh, the hero tickets or the hero, geez, the hero cards, there are seven of them. And a full set would be 350 tickets, because it's 50 tickets per card. But it's actually 2,000 tickets, so that's a nice bonus. Uh, the villain set is also 2,000 tickets, if you got the, all seven of those. Uh, but if you have all 14, so all seven hero cards, and all seven villain cards, normally that would be 700 tickets but you get 4,000. So that's that's a really nice bonus, 4,000 tickets for the complete set. There's two rare cards, the Aquaman, obviously uh, the one that's inside the machine, you can see it now is the rare card for the hero set, which is why we're playing for him. And even rarer than the Aquaman is Dark Side, the rare card for the villain set. Um, I've tried to figure out how rare they are. It's really hard to get that information. Uh, I do believe that dark side is one in 50. So one in 50 cards is a dark side. And as I said, I have the feeling that Aquaman is a little less rare just because I see it more often. 
But so far, uh, I haven't been able to figure out how often it's in a pack of 50 cards. And I need to just ask. They'll probably tell me. Um, if I have to assume, I would say that Aquaman is 2 in every 50. Which would leave 47 other cards, which isn't really dividable by 14. So... As I've said on previous videos, I also think that the villain cards are rarer than the hero cards anyway. And there's no proof that every hero card is as rare as the other. So maybe, uh, well, let's pick the ones we can see now. We see Flash and uh, Green Lantern. Maybe the Green Lantern is less rare than the Flash card. I don't really know. Um, judging from the cards I win... It seems like Batman, Superman and Wonder Woman are in there a lot. Because I get those a ton. Uh, whereas Joker and Penguin, not that much. Uh, talking about Batman, there is one. Batman just came into the machine, I think. It's a Series 1. And yeah, there it goes. I was just about to say and it's sticking. But no, it went into the lower part of the machine. Meaning we can try and win it. That Aquaman that is in the machine is uh, almost completely hidden by the Green Lantern card now. It's also moving back. This is uh, the problem with coin pushers. Well, problem. This is what the game is. The At the front side, just before the fall, it slides up a little. So it means the coins have to be pushed up. And what happens is, well, they are on an angle. So the, the cards, which are slippery, slide back sometimes, especially if there's a stack of cards on top of them, like you see now. You see a Captain Cold, some other card, the Aquaman and the Green Lantern all stacked on top of each other. And that just means that there's a big risk of them moving back, unless we get a stack of coins behind them that, to prevent them, or a stack of cards behind them to prevent them from falling back. And the Batman might actually be doing some good work there. Oh no, it's sliding on top of him of Green Lantern now. Ooh. Yeah, this could take a while. It could be a while before we win. Oh, there's a Superman. Kind of making my point from earlier that Superman and Batman are in this machine a lot. Uh, let's wait for a Wonder Woman. Or maybe there is a Wonder Woman there. I, I really can't tell which card is above the Captain Cold. So this video was recorded a while back and I am obviously recording this audio you hear right now after the fact. Uh, but I don't really know what is going to happen anymore in this video because it's at least two months old. So I'm assuming that the video will go on until we get that Aquaman because that's kind of the idea. But I don't know if we are getting the Aquaman right like within a minute from now or at the end of the video i can see that the video is roughly 22 minutes long that's looking good look at them hanging there that's looking like they are about to fall over oh no they're moving back again oh come on all the coins you see falling and i say that on, this on every video every coin you see falling over is one ticket so that's, uh, that's actually pretty nice. There goes another four tickets, I guess. Oh, ooh, that was a big stack of coins. So this is why I like this machine. Every coin going over gives you a ticket. You don't have to go for chips or just get the cards. Every coin is a ticket. Uh, and those tickets do tend to stack up pretty quickly. Um, so I actually see all the cards as a bonus. Uh, I've been asked if you if I make money off of playing these coin pushers and the, the answer is very much no. Uh, even with the amount of cards I win, oh, they're moving back again. Did you see that Captain Cold just going up and sliding back? Uh, they look so close. Oh. Um, but even with the amount of cards I win, there is just no way to make money on these machines. And to be honest, that's not why I play them. I like playing them. I like showing you guys uh, the videos of me playing them. I hope you like watching them. 
and I'm not in it for to make money. Um, for me, it's pretty easy. It's uh, giving me some nice prices, uh, but it's especially a lot of fun. It takes away a bit of the drag of uh, working days, you know, just uh, popping into the arcade for 30 minutes and just relaxing a bit, pushing some coins and uh, playing these games. So I'm not in it to make money. I do uh, like getting the prices, of course. And of course, um, the less you can spend to win the prices, the better. But I don't think there's any way to really make money on these machines, uh, especially not in the Netherlands where the arcades aren't the cheapest. And that's compared to like, say, Dave & Buster's. Dave & Buster's seems to have, uh, in America, Dave & Buster's seems to have a lot of uh, coupons where you get $40 worth of chips for $20 and then on Wednesdays you play half price then maybe I can um, I can get that some people can make money off these things I'm not sure if coin pushes are the way to go then because I think that skill games would be better if you want to make money off an arcade skill games are probably better if you're really good at like throwing uh, ping pong balls into cups and stuff and those machines oh there's a cyborg by the way those machines give out a nice amount of tickets and you can actually game the system there so you know what you pay you know how many coins you or how many tickets you get from them and if you're really good you probably know that you can win every time uh, i know someone that's really good at crossy road crossy road if the uh record uh the high score is really low you can actually just beat the high score by just one or two points get the bonus tickets play again beat your own high score by one or two points get the bonus tickets beat that high score by one or two points uh it gets harder every time obviously but then that way i've seen people get the bonus like 15 times in a row and then then you're talking it's the same if you're really good at uh, throwing basketballs you have those basketball throwing game or if you're good at ski ball there's more money in those probably than in coin pushers i just love coin pushers i love the sound of the coins falling i love the thrill of seeing the coins moving forward a big drop occurring i love the cards falling i love collecting these cards and obviously i like uh, turning these cards in every once in a while i haven't done that in a while i've got every card in this machine six times except for aquaman which i have three times and uh, dark side which i have two times at home uh, so those are in my collection i will turn them in at some point uh, mostly to get those cards back into rotation so i can win them again uh, and also to get the tickets obviously but um yeah i just like coin pushers uh that's that's what i like uh, i like uh, this one i like the dc comics one i wish we had the spongebob squarepants one in europe i don't think it's anywhere it's definitely not in the netherlands there's another green lantern uh, making my point from earlier that he is not that rare, rare either um I wish we had a SpongeBob SquarePants machine. I really like the DC Comics machines. Uh, those are both made by Endemiro. There's also another company called eLoud. They make a lot of coin push machines. I love those too. They have the coin push machines where you can actually point the shooter to where your coin will land. It, it gives you the feeling of a bit more control uh yeah i just like i i i really like coin pushers that's just the thing which is probably obvious from my name being the coin pusher uh so yeah uh, doesn't mean i don't play any other games in the arcade i do every once in a while do the monster drop you know where the ball has to drop into a hole um or it actually always goes into a hole with which gives you tickets, but you always try to get it into either the bonus ball drop or the jackpot. Uh, or, oh, and there's another Captain Cold. Uh, the Captain Cold that's in, well, that's 
that was about to drop uh, like ages ago but did, never did is a series 2 and this is a series 1 and that series 1 is as you can see on top of a stack of coins so it's really pointing up I'm kind of hoping it will help me push cards because we haven't won a lot of cards only one so far and we've always already done a lot of pushes it's looking good now I think that Cyborg that came into the machine during this video is the first one that's going to drop. Look, it's it's made its way all, all the way underneath all the other coins and cards. And there it goes. Wow. Wow, that's what happens sometimes. So the cards that were in the machine already, including that Aquaman that we really want to get, are still there. And a new card just went under and over. Over the side, that is, or over the edge. Uh, every time that you don't see coins dropping, I'm probably adding more plays. I always add 100 plays, that's 5 swipes. So 5 swipes gives you 100 tokens, as they call it here. A token is a coin that you shoot in, uh, but you get bonus tokens if you get a good drop. I'll... In a future video, I will probably show you the entire machine just to show you how it works. Well, come on. I can't believe that all those cards still haven't dropped. Normally, if you come into an arcade, you find a machine like this and the cards are showing up like this, play that machine. Seriously, I, I know this video is looking like they won't ever drop. But, oh, but normally this is the best moment to play. That Captain Cold is already pointing down. Come on. I think we're about to make it rain, guys. I think we're about to get like a landslide of card falling. Come on. It, oh, look at them hanging over. The, the Green Lantern one and the Batman one are now actually holding the other side. Look at that. Yes. Oh, great. Well, like I said, that's a big stack of uh, cards going there. Finally. Wow, that took 17 minutes. And it looked like they were going to fall in like a minute. Oh. Oh, and there goes the flash. Oh, we're emptying out the machine now. Uh, Harley Quinn just came into the machine. We might try and get that last captain cold it's a bit much to the right this machine pushes mostly in the middle but maybe we can still get him uh it wasn't that long ago that i added more plays so there's probably about 60 more plays left so we might as well keep playing and try to get uh, at least a lot of coins over the edge because uh, as i said every coin is a ticket and we do want to get some tickets i just ha you can see in the reflection i just took some tickets away uh, maybe the machine was empty because the top one looks like it has a sticker on it. That's normally how they paste the tickets together. Ah, there goes that Captain Cold. So another card. I think that's a nice scoring card now anyway. Uh, took a while, but with all the cards that dropped alongside with that Aquaman, which is the main focus, I think we got a nice collection of cards there. I will, of course, show you that at the end of the video. Uh, me showing you the cards and me showing you the tickets that I won is always recorded with a different camera so that will have sound so uh, I hope you didn't turn this up too loud because then maybe the background sound from the ar arcade will uh, you know be really loud in uh, your ears but it shouldn't be that bad are we going to get that Harley Quinn? That Harley Quinn that came into the machine not too long ago, but it's already moved its way all the way up to the drop. Let's see if we can get her. You never know. Push, push, push. Oh, another card came in. That's uh, Lex Luthor. And it slid all the way to the right side. And as you can see, as I always say, the right side doesn't push as much. Even on the top pusher, those cards are still stuck there. 
this is mainly why they clean the machine out uh, every once in a while because uh, this does just luck if, if someone comes in now this machine doesn't look inviting to play i wouldn't play it so that's why every now and again they clean out the machine put some cards in them just to get people to play uh, and that's a good thing because uh, yeah what good would the machine do be if nobody wanted to play it and if nobody else plays it i'm the only one trying to get the cards into the machine uh, and there's little surprises for, uh, when i walk in and that's what you like you want to walk in and see an aquaman there like we did on this video and like we won in this video finally so let's just see yeah we're getting to the end i don't think we're getting that harley quinn though she's moving but she's also sliding back and i'm sure uh, just looking at the yeah, that was the last play. No Harley Quinn, but let's take a look at all the cards we won. There you see it. Nine cards and an Aquaman. So ten cards total and a big stack of tickets. How many tickets did we get? 1,728. Nice. Like and subscribe. Watch my previous video. And if you like DC Coin Pushers, 